The video that I'm making is how to remove and install the wiper motor assembly in a Ford pickup truck. And I think this, this happens to be Ford F-150 V8, but I think this is good probably from the Fords around the 1996 up to 2004, I believe. What was happening is the passenger wiper was working and the drivers, the drivers wasn't working at all. Um, now I've already disassembled this, so basically I'm going to record the assembly and then disassembly will be the reverse of what I'm going to do to put this together. Here is the, uh, the wiper assembly. the position of the wiper assembly when it's in the truck and it's held in by an eight millimeter bolt here here and uh, and right there so there's one two three eight millimeter bolts it turns out that what was wrong with this particular with my uh, well, here is the driver's side windshield wiper, was that this bushing had come off this ball down here, which looks kind of punky, but in any case. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, and you can see it's well, and it's easy to snap it on. So that's it snapped on, and unfortunately it's that easy in its present condition to snap it off. So I'm going to replace this bushing. Uh, it, the bushings come in a kit. I got it from Napa. So here it is. Wiper linkage bushings from Napa. And there's the part number right there. And these cost $11. And as you can see, there's the bushing there that's bad. And then... Um, then if you have a mind to, there's a, there's a bushing there, there's the second one, there's the third one, and there's the fourth one. What I need to do is figure out how to get this out of this, out of this arm and then press the other one back in. So here's a closer look at this bushing. Looks like this on one side, looks like this on the other side and you can wiggle it a little, just a little bit, but not by much. I tried trying, but you can see the metal bending. I don't wanna, I don't wanna bend this metal flange here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just take a pair of locking pliers and just destroy it. Well, I'll just break off a little piece at a time if I have to. But just do what I need to do to get this out. That should be ready to come out. Okay, so that's the name of that tune. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to line up this this little tab, this little tab with the cutout. So then I guess it's just a matter of squeezing it in. I'm going to use a pair of pliers and go around and just, maybe not locking pliers, regular pliers, go around, and, go around the circle and squeeze that into the, into the hole. And again, I've got that line, the seam sort of lined up with this, this cutout. Goes. There it goes, right in.
that pretty much does it. So it was a lot <coughs> harder getting it out than it was putting the new one in. And that's the way it works. So there's the bushing I replaced. Then at the end of this arm, this is the uh, to the driver's side wiper, there's a bushing there. And then over to the motor. And then on the inside of the the driver's side. So anyways, so that's how you do the bushings. After I get the rest of these bushings done, then I'm going to show you how to install this since I never really showed you how to take it out. Just so I don't mess up which end is which, I'll put a little yellow marker paint right here and at the same time, I'll put a yellow mark down here. Because I don't know if that arm can be, is uh, symmetrical and can be switched opposite ways. So we won't, we won't leave that to error. So then meanwhile, I'm gonna now do this bushing and then the remaining one down here that's on the other side of that rusty ball. So here's the driver's wiper that I just marked off. And so this end of the arm goes there. And then the other end with the first piece I put in goes down to that, that rusty ball down there. Uh, which is next to the passenger side wiper. So this goes from passenger side to the driver's side. I'm going to try to pop the, uh, the bushing off the actual motor and we'll pop it off the passenger side wiper. So you've got this arm goes from the passenger side wiper up to the motor. So we're going to try to pop that off by some magic. There it goes. So that's on the motor side. And I think I'm going to mark that too. I'll give that two dots. And then all I have to do is disconnect it down here at the passenger side. So I guess I guess I'll turn this whole thing sideways a little bit. Then my wiper will have four new bushings and be happy, maybe. And that made that. And the balls on the balls on both sides are a little bit rusty, so I think I'll also just take a little maybe 220 and clean them up a little bit. And of course I'm going to grease everything as I reassemble it. It's not a whole lot I can do with this, but. Especially dirty and greasy. So I think these wire cut these uh, wire cutters are probably a good option. I'll just start with that.
Well, that wasn't too bad. So that might be my recommended way to do it. That was the easiest one of all. These aren't, don't go in too badly either. I'm surprised and happy that it's not a bigger chore to get these in. If I didn't speak too soon here. There we go. Not too bad. That's that. This uh, this is the main bushing to the motor. Okay, so that's going to attach right here. Okay, so here's the motor arm. So we're going to attach that on there. Okay, there it goes. And then, then that connects over here to the passenger side windshield wiper. And I'm going to grease that up. All right. And then we're going to squeeze these two together. Boom. So we need to get this thing hooked up. And I'm going to see if I can do this under my own power. It's a tight fit. I'm going to back this up so I can... You can still see it. Yeah, you can still see it. Boy, that is tight. There it goes. So now we've got a new bushing there. And then the last thing to do is down here, and that's to connect up the driver's side wipe around with this bushing. And then we're all set, and then I'll show you how to get this back in the car. Now in order to get the wiper assembly back where it belongs, you, ha you uh, have to unhook this part of the hood. Uh, in fact, of course, I had to do this to get it out. So when you're removing this, just you have to mentally do this stuff in reverse. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to look and see if you can see in there. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. Um, and also, the hinge for this thing, I just forced it down by hand. So the hinge is down. You'll see it come up later. Amazing. That's it. I'm going to take this out again just so you can see the orientation of the arms because it actually is pretty easy to mix them up. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's ready for installation. And then I'm going to flip it over so you can see the other side to see how the arms are oriented. And this is the correct orientation to put it back in. So here's what the wiper assembly should look like as, after you get it in. And it goes in and then comes up over that lip, just the way I showed you. Uh, and now we have to secure the three 8 millimeter bolts. There's one bolt here, okay, the second bolt is right here right there, just behind the motor. And then the third bolt 
is right over there next to the passenger wiper. Here's the panel that we're going to put on the driver's side. Then you have an, another panel similar that goes on the passenger side. Um, so we're just going to put it in. The wiper obviously goes through this opening and then there's a couple little screws that hold the panel down onto these uh, white plastic blocks. So lift up that hinge and reattach the side of the hood. As you see now I just have a board and that hinge over there holding it up. Okay so I found out that I really have to lift this hinge up before I can get this plastic piece in. So I'm going to lift this up carefully, avoid crushing my thumb, and, um, and I think I'll reattach the hood right now and then, and then put those plastic pieces in. Okay, so in order to reattach the hood, really it's held on by these two 10 millimeter bolts. There's one right there and one right there. So I just, uh, I just need to tighten them and try to line it up to where it was, or as close as you can, as close as you can figure to where it was. And then, then I can uh, put the rest of this panel in. Okay, so here's this trim piece. Okay, and as you can see, this little piece just slides under there and up over the uh, wiper shaft and just lay it in place and then there's a couple screw holes here and right there that help secure it and then we do the same thing on the other side then we install the wiper arms and we are done so here's the little screw that goes in there just screw it in and secure the the trim piece down. My piece didn't, my truck was missing the other screw so I can't put that in right now. But at least you can see this one. Uh, and that's it. The side has an almost exact same matching piece and there's a spot for a little screw right there into, you know, one of those white blocks. And uh, in fact, there's, there's a screw for every one of those white blocks. This is the passenger side panel. And there's a screw hole right there. One, then two, three, four, and five. So here we are. Here we are. The job's finished. The only thing is I don't have the little caps to put over these nuts, which is really a good idea to keep the weather out of those out of those uh, wiper shafts. So I need to get to replace those caps. Other than that, that's a good wiper repair. Thank you for watching the video. Hope it helped.